Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. It is a freezing cold Monday here at the convent this morning. Sean and Steve are in and we're just continuing with some of the work. I think Steve is removing some of the stone and rubble between each joist. So when it comes to plastering or plasterboarding, we have space to go nice and flush against the main beam. And Sean is carrying on with the pointing of the fireplace. We really wanted to start the flooring today on Monday, or at least this week. But if Steve is removing the rubble between the beams, we don't want the stones falling onto the freshly laid or poured concrete. And it will just damage that. So yeah, we're just gonna be gonna, I can't even talk properly. Just gonna be a little bit more methodical with the work this week and just do the jobs, which means it's not gonna undo anything that we want to do. So yeah, interesting. So let's crack on. I just want to talk about the library quickly because on Thursday's video we had a lot of comments and I completely understand from your perspective that this will not fit this room and I understand that as well because this library was designed for one specific room and it's going to be impossible to make it all go together and fit any other room essentially so I need to get a carpenter at some point and when it comes time for fitting the library we need to have more pieces made to make it fit a larger room or just so you can sort of put everything in place and you know have new surrounds made new bits of paneling and things like that um, it's a fantastic library i'm really really happy that i bought it when i first saw it yeah i just thought i'd mention that good morning sean good morning Billy. did you have a lovely weekend very good thank you this video wouldn't be the same unless i said good morning sean <laughs> <laughs> so what are you up to today mate? Right, what we're doing today, we're going to rake out all the joints Yep. and then we're going to start pointing it. Uh, Brilliant. We made a start here. Yeah, it looks really good. So um, the lime and sand we're using doesn't go very beige, does it? No, no. It's, it's a bit more grey. Yeah, it's going but, to stay this colour. But this will lighten up slightly. Yeah, as the lime sort of comes through a little bit, it'll, yep. it will lighten up a little bit. So we didn't want white. No. We don't want beige because um, all the joints at the bottom of this fireplace yeah. are grey. They're grey, yeah, so we yeah. don't go too far either way sort of thing, mm. but I think that's a nice compromise. Yeah, I think way. when it's all done, it will look really nice oh, because yeah. we're just seeing one single bit. Yeah. It, it looks, stands out a bit yeah, too much, yeah. Bit, uh, yeah. Sort of a bit of a contrast, but yeah. you know, once it's all done, it will yeah. look fabulous. So you're digging out a few more joints and you're going to yeah. do a bit more today, mate? Yeah, we're going to rake all this out. Um, Get all the loose, defective stuff out. It's all drying. Yep. Not very good. So we just rake that out. Wire brush up the face of the stone mm -hmm. where, the, where the old um, filler was, and uh, yeah, get some new stuff in. Brilliant. I'll let you crack on, mate. Okay, mate. That big box on the back of the transit truck is two wine fridges. I managed to find two on the internet which were very reasonably, reasonably priced. And yeah, I think having those will be a nice addition to the kitchen. However, they're a little bit modern looking. And the idea I've got to sort of solve that is create sort of an oak or wooden carcass for them. And obviously they've got glass fronts. And yeah, it might look really nice. I'm not sure. It's a bit of an experiment, really. Yeah, wine, champagne, anything like that, I suppose. Just so it looks cool, looks nice, and it's practical. So I'm just up in the office quickly, and I'm just doing a plan or visualization for the installation of the air conditioning system. 
I'm not going to show you that because you'll absolutely hate it, but it will look great when it's installed. Um, this system will be really efficient and it will heat the kitchen amazingly. I'm also going to have auxiliary heating as well, such as a log burner in the fireplace. Um, that'll be really nice as well. Talking to kitchen designers, um, having people sending me plans, replying to them. I mean, it's amazing how much response I got for when I asked for help to design this kitchen. I've got so many beautiful designs sent by many people. So thank you. And from each of those, desi those designs, I will implement something from it, you know, just so everyone's had a little bit of involvement. Um, yeah. I've sort of turned into a project manager rather than an actual worker as such. I love doing DIY, I love renovating buildings, but I'm sort of stuck to a desk at the moment most of the day, especially when I'm editing. Ryan's not going to be here for a few weeks. Um, I'm not going to say where he's gone, but he's not going to be here for a few weeks. So I've got to film and edit every day as well as doing all the work. So yeah. I'm not complaining though, not at all, right. Sure, let's talk about this um, built-in cupboard quickly because Martin started doing the sandblasting on it and we realized that it's two different types of wood. It is. One is a very old dark chestnut, and I think Martin said it's possibly oak, the other wood. Yeah, yeah. or a younger chestnut. Mm. And he but said if he continues with it, you know, it's gonna be two different types of wood. I mean, the idea was to have it yeah. completely exposed as wood. I mean, it's not, it's not got a great finish on it with the wood worm. No, it's so got quite a lot a of wood worm and stuff. It's worse than what we anticipated, but mm -hmm. we don't know until we clean it. No, exactly, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're not gonna go with this. No, I just said, don't worry, because it's gonna take more time yeah. and more money. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we've got a few ideas, though. We have, We've we? got a few ideas, and I've been out spending this weekend, which isn't a great thing. <laughs> but um, that will come at some point yeah, soon yeah. and we'll explain what we're doing yeah, yeah. I'm excited to and it, it, it may that. involve being an entire custom made piece of furniture which will cover this entire wall yeah yeah that's some piece of furniture Billy where have you been <laughs> what have you done possibly the biggest bit of furniture in France so yeah yeah I won't say no more meters meters literally meters, meters of it okay. yeah yeah so that's the reason behind that if anyone's wondering. Yeah. Yep. Okay, mate. So you can see there's a lot of rubble on the floor at the moment and a lot of stone. It's because Steve is removing all of the stone and rubble essentially, which is between each joist. And it's sort of a good thing because it's taking weight off the main beam because there's a lot of stone and a lot of weight there. But it means when we come to finishing off between the joists and the main beam, We've got a bit of space behind just to do some plastering or plasterboarding or whatever we're going to do. Yeah, so we've got to do that before we can do the floor because all this stone falling on it is going to damage it. Yeah, so we're still making mess and there's still demolition being, hap well, still happening. So, yeah, I really wanted to do the floor this week, but maybe later on in the week. Blimey, what's happened here, Sean? We've got a right royal mess, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> so Steve's just gone. Yeah. And... He's done a fabulous job, though. Wow. The Getting amount... All that stone out, that was real hard going. Yeah, I, I can just see how much weight there is on the floor. Yeah. Well, how much weight there was up there. It was all above them beams, wasn't it? It was. In between. 
we probably estimate a good ton, maybe a bit over. Probably, yeah, at the end of it. So that's a good bit of weight removed from the, the beams themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just a little thing. One little thing is, now Steve's gone, yeah. we've got to clean this up. Uh, Steve. <laughs> if you're watching this, Steve. <laughs> it's yeah. all right. Yeah, we'll I, don't, I don't mind that trade-off. No. Because that was hard work up Yeah, there. absolutely. It was really hard And the work. fireplace is looking really nice as well, Sean. Yeah, I've been pointing that up today. You've almost done half. Yeah, 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 looks yeah. really good. Yeah, not, not bad. It looks fantastic. So what we'll do, all the big stone... Yeah, put to one side. Eh? We'll put to one side, and then the rest of it could just go on the big pile, because some of this stone's quite nice. Yeah, it's usable. Yeah. Else. Yep, okay. So let's crack on. Yeah, let's get the gloves on. <laughs> so we're all cleared up... So we're all cleaned up... So we're all... Yeah, we're all cleared up. <laughs> So we're all cleaned up, Sean. We are, yeah. It looks fantastic. Yeah, it gives us something uh, clean to start tomorrow. Yeah, isn't? there's nothing worse than walking in here and I mean, seeing it's dust and rubble. Uh, it's it's demoralising, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you have a blank canvas. You can sleep better at night, no? So yeah, it's... absolutely. So thanks for your help, mate. Yeah, thanks right. for your help today. Yeah. Um, what I want to talk about is what's happening for the rest of the week, because obviously you are head foreman at the moment. Yeah. And um, yeah, obviously we need to remove the rest of the rubble above the beams. Yeah, uh, we've got Steve in tomorrow. Steve's we? in tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, so Steve in tomorrow, he can carry on removing the infill. I mean, we must have got at least a ton nearly. Out I think of just so. Just one beam. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I lost count after 10 wheelbarrow loads of <laughs> the rubble and the rocks. Yeah, it was heavy. And we still haven't finished yet, so there's more to come on that beam. And then hopefully, well, I think tomorrow that beam will be clear. Yep. I can carry on with the pointing of the chimney breast. Yep, Monday, uh, tomorrow morning, yep. So that'd be Tuesday pretty much taken care of. Yep. Uh, um, the, a few hours at the end of the day to do some um, Somebody's coming tomorrow to measure the windows. Okay, yeah. So once that's done, we can wait for a quote. Yeah. And if it is shocking, I might share it on this channel. Yeah, you, see. <laughs> you never know something, it's a lot If it's not too bad, yeah, yeah we can uh, go for it, yeah, okay. because it'd be nice to have some new windows made, because yeah. these windows are horrendous, aren't they? I mean, I'm not, okay at the moment, I'm they? not saying anything bad about PVC windows, but when you're doing a historical yeah, slash a bit kitchen. More sy sympathetic with the building. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's keeping us warm when it's cold it outside. Is. You walk in here in the mornings yeah, it and it is warm in here. Yeah, it is. Um, obviously, if you open the windows, it's not, but they, that, those double glazed windows are doing their job. Yeah, which is a good thing. So, and maybe later in the week we can start talking about or start the flooring. Yes. Or the floor, the concrete, yeah. So yeah. I've got a laser level and we can go around with some spray paint. Yeah and mark the low and high areas. Yeah, so we've got a good idea what we're dealing with. Yep, yep. We know that this floor behind you has got to come up. Yeah, that's definitely got to come up. Um, and there are some low areas, but generally I think it's not too bad. We'll, we'll, see, no. what it, we'll see what it's like when we start doing the self-leveling. Yeah, I don't think we've got a major problem with no. the floor, really. No, not at all. Oh yeah, we've got uh, enough to be keeping us going for a few days. Oh, I reckon this. so, yes. Brilliant. Thanks for your help, mate. No see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm there. Yep. See you Drive safe. Bye, Bye mate. Sean's just left. I've got to finish editing this video quickly and put a few things away. But it's a little bit spooky in this place when you're on your own. I mean, I've been with Ryan for a few months now and he's been helping me a bit. But yeah, back on my own, which isn't great. But anyway, we're back at it tomorrow. And yeah. Don't know what else to say. Thank you so much for watching this video today and I'll see you all tomorrow.